Hi, I'm Cheryl, and I'm a filmmaker. Uh, nah, I'm not really a filmmaker, but I have a videotaping business with my friend Tamara, and I work at a video store, so I'm working on being a filmmaker. The problem is I don't know what I want to make a film on. I know it has to be about black women because our stories have never been told. So I've been renting movies. No, I haven't been renting movies, but I get movies from the video store that I work at, and I've taken all these films out from the 30s and 40s with black actresses in them, like um, Hattie McDaniel and Louise Beavers. And um, in these films, in some of the films, the black actresses aren't even listed in the credits, and I was just totally shocked by that. So in this one film that came into the store, Plantation Memories, I saw the most beautiful black mammy named Elsie. Her name, the Watermelon Woman. That's right, Watermelon Woman. Is Watermelon Woman her first name, her last name, or is it her whole name? I don't know, but girlfriend has it going on, and I think I've figured out what my project's going to be on. I'm going to make a movie about her. I'm going to find out what her real name is, who she was and is, everything I can find out about her. Because something in her face, something in the way she looks and moves is, is serious, is interesting. And I'm going to just tell you all about it. enough of that white powder. How could you, Irene? How you know how hard you? it was to find these films? Like it's like one of the few race films that she ever starred in. Really? Uh, do you mind if I smoke? No, go ahead. You know, what's so weird about this setup? What? I don't know, it just feels like, you know, a setup, like... I don't know, you know, all this dinner and... And what? And friendly conversation. <laughs> well, I have to confess that I am a little... No, I'm very attracted to you. What? Um, I was just gonna say that you're really a cute woman. I know that. I heard what your friend said at the video store. <sighs> you heard us? I've had the hots for you since the minute I saw you shelving tapes. <sighs> Can I have a cigarette? Sure, help yourself. Is the um, fire in there too? Uh, yeah, but it's a little lighter. <laughs> so, um, now that we know that we're attracted to each other, what do we do? Um, don't you think we should kiss? Committing a sin that will surely send you to hell. I am going to hell, but not for being a tramp, but for being poor and living on the streets like I've had to do. Why can't I be happy fitting into their world? God made me this color and he did it for a reason. I'm still in shock over the whole having sex with Diana thing. I've never done anything like this before. Let me assure you, the hip-swinging lesbian style isn't my forte. You remember the Yvette thing? I'm just an old-fashioned girl trying to keep up with the times, but Diana just threw me for a loop. I mean, she's not my type, but I liked it. I don't know what to say next. Maybe it all has to do with this film project, which is finally coming together. Hollywood, The Watermelon Woman, Faye Richards, and Diana?